All right, so let's do some practice problems here. Okay, so pause the question when you see a new question every time and work on it yourself, then check with my answer. The equation between pressure difference, depth, density, and G is simply P is equals to rho GH. Calculate the increase in diver when the diver um, descends from surface to depth of 11 meter. It means that if this is sea level, the diver is here and this is 11 meters so we're simply going to do p is equals to rho gh density is 1028 your g is 10 and your h is 11 put that in the calculator and you should get 113080 so this is about 113 kilopascal okay because one two and three calculate the total pressure at a depth of 11 so it's asking you to find total pressure okay so meaning that this time we need to take uh, into account of our atmospheric pressure as well so our p total would be atmospheric pressure plus the the pressure underwater which is 113 kilopascal so your atmospheric pressure is 101 plus 113 this is 214 kilopascals so the object shown in the photograph is old breast mass and it's marked 500 gram when you measure it on electronic balance it's 498 the student says that the balance might not be working properly evaluate this conclusion so rather than saying right or wrong, you need to say why he is saying these answers, okay? So it could be that the mass is mislabeled. It could be 498, but somebody might have mislabeled it as 500. And another thing is the balance that he is using might not be leveled, okay? It might be tilted. The student wants to find density of the old brass mass. First, he obtains a correct value of mass. What else must he do to find the density, okay? So, in order to find the density, just take a slight note that rho is equal to m by v, right? So, in the question, they already found the mass, so you need to find the volume. So, what you should say is measure the volume. How you can do it is by using a, a displacement method. So, a displacement method simply means that since this shape is very hard to um, calculate volume, right? What we will do is, if we have a tank filled with water, we will put, okay, I'm going to represent it as a solid block here. If we drop this into water, right? Okay, so this amount of water will be displaced. And let's say if you have a test tube connected, this water will be inside here because the block displaced the water here okay and from looking at this reading you will find the volume but rather than saying all these you can simply say that measure the volume by using a displacement um, method and afterwards use the formula rho is equals to m by v to find the density okay so that's three marks for you one mark two mark and three marks the photograph shows two containers that store rain water. Alright, so read the question first, okay? So, state the equation linking pressure difference height. This is very simple. P is equals to rho GH. Calculate the pressure that the water causes at the base of the container here, okay? It's right here. So, your pressure would be P your density is 1000 because that is your density your g is 10 and your h is instead of centimeters because the density is given in meter cubes right this would be 0 0.91 okay so this would be a thousand multiply 10 into 0 0.91 which is 9100 pascal when the taps are open, water flows in the pipe for some time. Diagram shows the final water level in container A. 
complete the diagram to show the water level in container B, it would actually be the same. Because why? The density of water is the same, the acceleration due to gravity is the same, so the pressure would be the same as well. All right, another question is explain why the water starts to flow and then stops, okay? It's actually because there is a pressure difference, okay, between A and B. So first of all, there is a pressure difference, okay? So when there is pressure difference, the pressure must become equal, okay? because you're opening the tap here, right? So the pressure must e um, become equal. And P is, and the pressure is caused by the force. Okay, this pressure is caused by the weight or the force of water. Okay, so you can mention P is equals to F by A in order to get three marks. So you can also say that the pressure pushes the water. Okay, so that's three marks for you. All right, okay, so this is very simple. P is equal to rho GH, okay? Calculate the increase in pressure as the LR fight descends from surface to a depth of 700 meter. So what's the density? It says that the sea water is 1,028. Your G is 10, H is 700. You don't need to change anything because they're all uh, relevant units, okay? Same unit system. All right, so it's 7196000. Try to look at what is given here. If it says Pascal, then you don't need to change anything. If it says kilopascal, then your answer would be 7196. Atmospheric pressure is this much. Calculate the total pressure. So this would total pressure BD would simply be the atmospheric pressure, which is 1.0 into 10 power 5 adding to your existing pressure underwater which is 7196000 and you'll get your answer on another descent the LR5 experiences a total pressure of 41 into 10 power 5 pascal so this time it's giving you the pressure here so the entrance to LR5 is through an access door which is an area of 3.1 so you know your A so equation between pressure, force, and area is P is equals to F by A. So it's causing you to calculate the force on outside of the door. So it would be F is equals to PA. So your pressure is 41 into 10 power 5 multiplying with 3.1. So you would get... one two seven one zero 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 newton so the lr5 is tested this time in fresh water and the density of fresh water is this much why the pressure in fresh water is less than the pressure in the sea at the same depth so you can simply say the equation p is equals to rho gh right so density of your Sea water is 1,028, but the pressure, again, if it is in fresh water, right? Your, your, if it is fresh water, your density is less, which means that the pressure would be less as well. So that's one mark for you. The question is about pressure in a liquid. A teacher uses this apparatus to demonstrate the pressure difference in water. Okay, so when water is filled in, right, there's going to be water bumping out. So this is repetitive right now. It's B is equals to rho GH. The diagram shows the path of water. Complete the diagram. So you will notice that as you go deeper, right, your force becomes higher meaning that your pressure becomes higher as well. Sorry, it should all be um, in the same way. So, it has to be a little further than the first one, and the bottommost one should be the furthest away. Okay, so if you're asked to explain the pattern, what you should say is that 
the water at the bottom okay water at the bottom actually has the highest pressure why because the pressure increases with depth right when your h becomes higher your pressure becomes higher and another thing is the force okay on the water at the bottom is the highest because why so for the bottom most part right we're taking all the weight of the water above and that's your answer the force on the bottom most um, part is highest in another demonstration um, the teacher uses this container so he's going to fill it in until the water level reaches here so um, complete the diagram so you should know that all of this um, use a ruler to draw it exactly okay it will always it will, it will be the same but why is it that okay why why is it going to be filled the same height because first of all all of the vessels right they are connected you can see that all of them are connected here okay and another thing is they have the same density okay same density which is same rho right so meaning that the pressure is the same for all because why p is equals to rho g h that's why okay so since pressure is same and since rho is same your h would also be same and that's why they are at the same level so the student is given a sample of liquid labeled as sea water all right so there's five marks given so let's try to write uh, in detail okay so first you should mention that okay so we're going to measure the mass okay all right so we're going to measure the mass of water first okay so you need to write in detail so measure the mass of water so for this measure the um, blank beaker measure the blank beaker using let's say electronic balance then measure okay measure the beaker with water again water again and you're going to subtract the masses to get the mass of water all right so that is for measuring the mass of water so another step is measuring the volume right so measure the volume of water so use a measuring cylinder okay to accurately measure okay and look at the reading perpendicular to avoid any parallax error all right and then afterwards you're going to use the formula rho is equals to okay this should be rho okay i'm just going to write it down here again so use the formula rho is equals to m over v to find the density so where are you getting your five marks from saying the electronic balance measuring the mass of water measuring the volume of water using a measuring cylinder and then using this formula okay so that's where you get your marks from here all right a student places a pile of quarks on the table as shown in photograph a so there are eight coins right the weight of each coin is 0 0.036 the area is this much so p is equals to F over A. So calculate the pressure on the table, okay, caused by a pile of the quines. So your force is how much? Force is your weight, right? So your F is actually um, how many quines? Eight quines. So eight into 0 0.036. All right, so your area is how much? Your area is just 0 0.013 because no matter how many coins are there, it's only one surface, right? 0 0.0013 meters squared. So you can use the formula P is equals to F by A. 
substitute F and A and you will get 220 pascals. The student spreads the eight coins on the table as shown. Describe how this affects the total force okay, of the points on the table. So force, right? So force is actually unchanged. Okay, force is unchanged. Because why? It has the same mass or same number of coins. Because here it was 8 coins. So we multiply 8 into 0 0.036. Here, when we have 8 coins, identical, right? So still 8 same coins. So we're still going to do F is equals to 8 into 0 0.0036 so same mass or same number of coins but our pressure as it asks here is going to be different so think about it p is equals to f by a right so our force is still the same now our area is larger now because in here we only have one area which is this one okay if we have below one here it will be the same but in here we have eight surface area so this becomes 8a meaning that since this is area is higher your pressure would be lower okay so pressure would be lower because why your area is higher now your area is larger now okay all right Okay, so the mass of the press is 138 grams. The volume is 16.3. Equation between density, mass, and volume is rho is equals to m over v. Calculate the density of the mass. Rho is equals to 138 divided by 16.3. Put that into calculator and you should get 8.46 but what is your unit here since your mass is grams and your volume is centimeter cube this would be 8.4 grams per centimeter cube okay all right student notices the electronic balance has a zero error so it shows that mass readings are slightly too small so it says that in Rho is equals to m by v, right? The mass volume is going to be small. This means that the density value is incorrect. So it cannot be correct, okay? We must ignore this because they say that it will be a correct. So we need to choose between A and B. So since mass is lower, density will be slightly lower as well, meaning that the density value is incorrect and slightly too small. Alright, last question for us today, okay? So, student uses the density of water. She uses a measuring cylinder and electronic balance. State the equation linking density, mass, and volume. Rho is equals to n by v. Select a unit. It's con gram per centimeter cube, okay? So, it's mass divided by volume. So, measuring cylinder, if it's a measuring instrument, they're going to ask you what it measures, right? So measuring cylinder will measure volume and the electronic balance will measure the mass. Okay. Okay, so describe how the students should use each instrument. So for these type of questions, right, always practice your common sense as if you're doing this by yourselves. So if you're going to use a measuring cylinder, of course you're going to have to put it on a flat surface and another thing that I mentioned in my lecture is that you must view it at 90 degrees okay so look the reading at perpendicular do what to avoid parallax errors okay so for if you want to use the electronic balance again you must put it on a flat stable surface okay and another thing that you can do is measure the cylinder okay measure the cylinder with water first and then without water 
then subtract the values all right stay one factor he should keep the same throughout her experiment you have not um, learned this yet but if you learn solid liquid and gases you will know that you need to keep the temperature same throughout okay why is actually because this temperature can affect the density and the volume okay but this thing you might not know it yet but after you learn solid liquid and gases you will know the answer to this all right so that is all for today and i'll see you again next time bye bye